This morning, Cory was in a hurry. He gave out chores and was on his way. Timmy had to bring a box of scissors up to Little Oak City, even though he was still giving train rides. Gary had to deliver Max hot dogs, even though he had to pick up his own food. And Arnold had to collect a few rocks in the mountains. Quentin had the morning off. He was going to spend it at the scissor yard, looking for something valuable in the rubbish. As he was riding over, Timmy passed by in the train. He called over to Quentin. Excuse me, he said, aren't you the world's strongest lick? Yes, I am, replied Quentin. I have to give a train ride soon, groaned Timmy. And I don't have time to deliver these scissors. Can you please do that? Of course I can, smiled Quentin. Timmy left. Quentin didn't mind a small job. I have time to make a stop, he told himself. But then Gary walked past with the hot dogs. He noticed how Timmy got out of his work. And he heard that Quentin was a strong but kind lick. So he stopped him. Hello, my good friend, he said. I need a favor. What is it? asked Quentin. When you get the chance, can you take this box over to Mac? Gary asked. I suppose so, sighed Quentin. But can't you do that? I have my own duties to attend to. Thank you. Gary left Quentin with his two jobs. Finally, Arnold passed him. Arnold was just feeling lazy and simply told him to collect the rocks. I'll do your next job for you, he agreed. Goodbye. By now, Quentin was worried. Okay, so the first box needs to go to the grease galley. Oh, wait, he corrected himself. It had to be in Lolik City. And then I have to collect the rocks at the mountains, and then I can collect things in the scissor yard. But it's already getting late, he groaned. Quentin knew he had taken on too much. Gary was in the train now with Timmy. Quentin wanted to give the boxes back, but he was still unfamiliar with most of the licks. He didn't know their names. Great, he wailed. I have three jobs and I only know a few people. Even if I could find them, they might be like the others. Everyone thinks I can carry anything. Well, you can, interrupted Jeff. That's true, he agreed, but not all at once. You're strong enough, said Ray. My point is that I have my own things to do, said Quentin, and I shouldn't be left alone to manage by myself. But you don't have to, chortled Billy. We heard what the others did, said Ray, and we're here to help. Really? asked a puzzled Quentin. Yes, replied Ray, I'll take the scissors to Little Look City. I'll deliver the hot dogs, cheered Billy. And I'll get the rocks, offered Jeff. Thank you, Jeff Ray and Billy, chirped Quentin. The job was done in no time, and the Silex then got a good night's sleep. The next morning, Quentin had resolved to go collect things from the scissor yard. This time, when Arnold, Gary, and Timmy asked for favors, he told them they should get as strong as he is and do it themselves. They knew he was right. And they let him do what he wanted.